everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have an art journal entry that I'm titling Mind and Body. I'm not really into New Year's resolutions, but I thought it would be nice to have some reminders for myself. And so I'm doing something really simple. I'm using two of the new dies from Simon Says Stamp and these are flower frames. So one is a Cosmo flower and the other is a mum. And when you die cut these, it creates a frame. And once I have them cut out, then I trim around the outside to create that outside edge. I'll be creating pockets uh, with these onto my journal page, and then I can slide in some reminder notes for myself as, you know, for my mind and body. I want to try to exercise a little bit. So I'm selecting some paper from the Jane Davenport collection, and I'm absolutely in love with this collection. There's so many choices for me to play with. So I'm going to flip through some of the papers. I'll probably go with a little bit brighter one. I do want to do some watercoloring on some watercolor paper for my titles. So I'll pick a brighter paper and put it under my flower frames and I'll get this going. I'm going to work on all the pieces and parts and then I can put everything together when I'm all done. And I have some Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor cardstock here and I have the all caps alphabets. These are Kathy Zelski's designs for Simon Says Stamp. I'll be die cutting my title out of those but I want to watercolor my paper and I'm going to be using the Jane Davenport and these are called mermaid markers and what they are is they're actually uh, water brushes that have uh, really beautiful paints that already put inside them. So there is a great selection of colors here. I'm going to pick out a couple and get the pens ready. And how you get the pen ready is that you unscrew the cap and then you remove that yellow ring that's in there. So just give it a quick unscrew, take the ring out, and then screw it back together and make sure that you get that in nice and tight. To get the flow of ink going, there is a the words push on both sides of the barrel and you're going to gently push those until you can see that ink start to come down into the brush. You don't want to over push. Right now you can kind of see that paint coming through just slightly. I'm not going to over push because then it will just really come out the end uh, too much from what I want. So I can see that start to come out so now I'll soften that brush and start to paint with it. Now I'll get a really nice flow of the paint. You can also use these with water if you want. Uh, I'm just going to scribble on some color onto this watercolor paper and just kind of start playing around until I get the color that I want. But you can also use the tip with some water and I can also use a wet paintbrush and go back over and move that ink around to however I want for this background. For this strip of paper I'm using a light amount of the color and I'm also getting the tip of the brush wet and then going back in and creating some stripes. So I can also go back in with concentrated color and here I have the yellow and it's pretty concentrated. I'm just making some marks and I can go back over with my paintbrush and blend that into that color. So it kind of separates out where the yellow is sitting on top of the purple. I wouldn't typically put those colors together, but it's working well for this uh, strip of paper. I think the more you experiment and play with these markers, the better you get at it. And just starting off creating stripes is a really good way to get started. I, I like the colors, they're nice and bright, but I do want to add a little bit more richer color. So I'm going back over now, I'm starting to overlay color on top and I've added some blue on top and I'm going to do the same on this bottom one and then I can go back in with a wet paintbrush and move that around a little bit and then that creates some additional color and it also softens out the edges of those markers. So I'm just using a flat brush, uh, one of the Ranger brushes and I'm just going to move this ink around and then I get like a, a green where the blue and the yellow have overlapped. These markers are also really good to create your own journaling strips, so some really small strips of paper which I've cut up and I can like, stamp some notes to myself on these little pieces of paper and tuck them into my pockets as well. I can create stripes of color or solid color on my strips of paper. I'm ready to do some assembly and I have my letters cut out from my cardstock, so make sure you let those dry really well and then you can die cut your words. and. These letter dies are the perfect size for me for titles. So I think I will kind of offset my papers and my frames together and I'll be using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to add a few staples to these. These will make the pocket for the card so I'll just add a couple staples on each side 
And then I can lay them onto my journal and use some washi tape. This is the Jane Davenport washi tape and it has beautiful colors and patterns. And I believe there are six rolls of tape. So there's a bunch of different patterns. I'm just going to go random and I will just put some washi tape around the three sides of my pockets. So I'll leave the top part open. Once you have your washi tape down, if you need to, you can go back over with a little bit of a matte medium or some sort of matte glue and that will hold those down really nice and permanently. So I'm just adding in more pieces and I'm overlapping a couple of them just to make it kind of fun and whimsical and bright colored. For my letters, I'm adding uh, some glue on the back of those with some dot liner. You could also use a white glue or matte medium however you want. And I'm also cheating and I'm using my T-square to make sure that I have everything lined up. So I'm putting the word mind at the top and I will fill in that pocket at the top with my notes and such for myself to um, ways of helping myself to improve myself for 2018. And then towards the bottom I have body and I will work also on exercising and moving my body a little bit more. So for the pieces that I'm putting on the inside, I am stamping and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And I'm creating little journal pieces that will go inside those pockets. It's kind of hard for me to write right now, you know, with being left-handed and having a cast on. So using stamps right now instead of writing is actually easier for me. So I'm using the grunge alphabet from Simon Says Stamp. It's a really nice upper and lower case and it has numbers so I can use any word that I want just by using the alphabet. So now I can slide those in and I can write on those when I get a chance and I will have my reminders for 2018. I do like how this turned out. I like the fine detail of the flower frames and I think it's a really unique way to use those dies and also really like the size of the all caps die set for my titles. I'll be using those a lot more. So I hope I've given you some inspiration on how to combine some papers and washi tapes and die cuts to create some pockets for a journaling page of your own. And as always, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.